Mama, I am so sorry that they are not as cool as we are. Welcome to another thrilling episode of The Villain's View. I am one of your hosts, Thomas, the villain, Bishop. And I would like to introduce the rest of the crew, starting with my green-haired brother. Yeah, this is Jeffrey. I'm Joker. Ha ha. Thirty-one. Oh, really? That's 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 good. Okay, good, good. And to my immediate left or right, Victoria. Oh, she's muted. I don't know why she's muted. Victoria, we can't hear you. You're muted. What do you what do you got going on over there? Lord have mercy. Not muted. No, now you aren't. Thank you. Okay. Oh my God. What? Don't yell at me. I ain't nobody yelling at I'm you. I'm Victoria X49. I'm the 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 ADD one of the group that keeps <laughs> us all together. She keeps Believe saying that, but she actually is not. Um, and we have two very special guests hanging out with us this evening. <laughs> one being our fellow brother and fellow villain, uh, Gil Villains Guild member. We call him the angry IT nerd. You all will know him as, state your name, villain. My name is Gilbert. I'm the angry IT nerd, the real ADD member of the guild, not. Somebody always get whatever. a little dark. Are we really, not, 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 is this not, really what I'm, we're doing right now? Are we really the doing real this right ADD now? one. Just going to be out amongst ourselves. Radio, that's just. Okay. No, uh, I, I'm no. going to let y'all argue yes. that one about. I'm we're going to have an ADD off in a second. And. Everybody is just going to be distracted on every fucking thing, and we're going to lose all kind of focus and every kind of shit. Like, anyways, so yes, I know that's that's exactly my point. And we have a very very special guest. Woohoo! Very special guest. Please tell us who you are. State your name, villain. My name is Ali. Um, I'm Freak Squeak. Uh, I'm a trans woman. You're a trans woman. Yeah, well, that's about it. And by the way, happy Pride, and you're absolutely beautiful. Thank you. See, there we go. And I mean that. That's how we start off this show, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, before I go any further, I would like to give two personal shout outs. Number one, I would like to give a personal shout out to a young lady who grew up with my children. And today is her 26th birthday. Happy birthday to Hannah Evans. Uh, young lady, I have watched you grow from that little kid that used to hang out with uh, Rosa and Shaley to a beautiful woman who's in love and is strong in everything that she believes. So happy birthday. And to, I would also like to give a shout out to Maddie's Foods. Now, why am I shouting out Maddie's Foods? Well, Maddie's Foods is a vegan restaurant and she makes fantastic food in case you haven't figured it out she makes fantastic food so i told her uh because it's one of my wife's favorite places to eat so i did tell her that you know once my radio show was on i was actually going to go ahead and literally shot her out so i decided to do so so if you are in the kansas city area you need to go to Maddie's Food, 633 East 63rd Street, KCMO, or give them a phone call at 816-712-2887. Tell them that Thomas Bishop sent you. All right, kiddos. So it is Pride Month, as Victoria did say. And with Pride Month comes both the celebration of members of the LGBTQIA plus community, as well as the realization that they, like every other marginalized group in America, are under attack. So I'm going to read you some very distressing numbers. Well, not numbers, but I'm just going to read you a list of very distressing things. According to the ACLU, which is ACLU.org, here are the number of states restricting health care for trans youth. You have Alabama, Arizona, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Louisiana, Indiana. Uh, yeah, Indiana. What's it? I-N. Indiana. Yeah. Idaho. I'm sorry. Idaho, Indiana, Kansas, 
Kentucky, Missouri, Mississippi, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Red, South Carolina, Red, Tennessee, Red. Wisconsin, and West Virginia for a grand total of 18. Single sex facility restrictions, Alabama, Mississippi, Mi Mississippi, Minnesota, Oklahoma, and South Dakota. Excluding transgender youth from athletics. This list is long. Arkansas, or not Arkansas, Alaska, Arizona, Delaware, Florida, Tennessee, Georgia, Hawaii, Indiana, Iowa, Utah, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Virginia, Minnesota, Michigan, Missouri, Mississippi, Wisconsin, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Ohio, Oklahoma, West Incredible, Virginia. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, 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 Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, and Wyoming. If you go to um, aclu.org and look at the listing that they have, once you get past all of the listings of things that directly affect the trans youth, you get into things called what is it? Religious freedoms, which is basically code exemption. for, hey, our religion allows you to go ahead and discriminate against people. So there's that. So tonight I brought on or we brought on Ali to talk from a perspective of a trans woman living in America in 2022. So Joker, go ahead and get started, please. All right. So first off, when I'm a same website that I happen to look at, just in total for everybody to know the amount of bills that are from what he listed to the religious exemptions and everything else like that equal up to 247. There's 247 bills that they are trying to pass of anti-legislation against the LGBTQIA community. And um, so it is, it's, it's heartbreaking to be able to see this information and to see what these states are actually trying to do, especially, you know, for anybody in the LGBTQIA plus community, because this is, this is ridiculous. This is not something that should be, you know, people are, should be allowed to be who people are. And, you know, I've been, I, I'm, I'm mutuals with, with Ali on TikTok and I, I'm, I'm very fond of the stuff that she did because for, for a while, you know, she did some political stuff. She did, you know, um, stuff like that but then she started actually doing things based off you know her community and she's very good at clapping back at individuals who come after anybody not even just her but anybody um she's she's fantastic and i i'm, I'm very appreciative um i would like to get some of your perspective on the situations going on in these states ali okay um did you did you also say it was 247 just this year yeah, just this year. I didn't know if you said that. Yeah, just this year. It's ridiculous. Mm. That's just, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Ali, let me ask you a question. Just on your day-to-day, -day, on your just your day-to-day, -day, how, how do you feel walking around in America knowing things like that? How does that make you feel? Um, so, I live in a conservative city, and... Um, Honestly, going out in public is terrifying. So I try my best to dress as cis passing most days because I've been assaulted twice. I've been threatened to be assaulted once just this past year. And when people clock you, they don't really do it that much out in public. They like to follow you home and that's where they get you. They don't really assault you in bathrooms. They'll come after you when you go home. They'll follow you home. And that's terrifying to me. Does it ever, uh, so this is something that you constantly walk around with 24 7, 365. Yep. Has, have you ever found a moment where there is peace, where you actually are just able to simply let your guard down? Honestly, no. Um, even at home, I don't really feel safe, um, even though, you know, I do carry, but. Making TikToks is kind of my little peace area. That's what gets my mind somewhere else. Damn. I say yeah, I was, it's I my therapy. Say, yeah, I was about to say I was I was as, as watching some of the way that you you make your TikToks and like not even just coming back at the comment sections of some of the individuals who are coming after you, but like just some of the the TikToks that you do make. You know, you do make some of those that people can laugh at. You know, that people can 
feel comfortable and and and, and enjoy themselves is is that a like is that where you find solace and being able to know that regardless of the communities that you may be surrounded around and have to deal with on a regular basis, knowing the community that you've built with people who support you, does that make you feel at peace at all? Like just. Yeah, it does. Um, I take a lot of joy, especially making trans content for other trans people to watch, make them feel better about that's mainly what the, the silly stuff is for is for that community, my community. So about let's let's talk about your community for a second what do you see as one of the biggest problems no okay so let me rephrase that let me rephrase that so we know that these bills are being made by these overly religious human beings and Mm -hmm. they're basically trying to you know police where trans people are actually able to just simply be how do you combat that on a day-to-day basis? Um, what I do is pretty dangerous. I just do it anyways. They say I can't go to the women's bathroom. I'm going to the women's bathroom. They, I mean, like I can't really say much for children's sports, like youth sports, but that's the biggest thing. I just kind of do it anyways. And it's really dangerous and I don't recommend it, but like I just do it anyways. Yeah. I, I'm going to exist. You're not going to make me not exist. Like you're going to know I'm here at least. Yeah, I mean, I, I for one, I've never had to walk the shoes of a trans person. I never have. But being a student of history, I realized the intersectionality between um, trans and blackness. Um, some of the exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. because you can't put your blackness down, just like trans people can't put that down. No, and it, I've always made it. I've always made it a a, a a thing that you should never. Because a lot of people used to do this back in the day. They used to try to put. They used to try to make railroad tracks across um, the civil rights movement and gay liberation. And I always said that you don't have to do that because there are heroes and there are heroes and villains with throughout both struggles. Um, but when you look at somebody like Marsha P. Johnson, who is if, if 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 trans people had a fairy godmother, it would be Marsha P. Johnson. You know, she was a trailblazer in a way. And Marsha P. Johnson did not get a chance to live to see, you know, not only gay marriage, but just um, uh, not just gay marriage, but simply things like um, Laverne Cox in 2022, exactly. living Laverne her Cox. best life free. Yes. She didn't get it. Sh- and yeah, there are people who have negative things to say, but she doesn't care. Yeah, but the thing she's is, she's living her life loud. Mm-hmm. Marsha P. Johnson didn't get a chance to live that way because Marsha P. Johnson was killed. She was murdered, and that to me speaks, you know, leaps and bounds about where we have 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 advanced in a society that we can celebrate a Laverne Cox. We can celebrate the cast of Pose. I love, I still to this day love that show. But the reality is trans women of color are being killed on the streets. It's that simple. You know, uh, trans people are being forced not to um, uh, go to the bathrooms that they want to. And that is a problem. That is a huge problem, you know? And that's just how I see it. But I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and, continue this conversation i have to take a phone call uh i'd like to ask Allie. uh when did you know did you always know so this is you know a good talking point because of the uh don't say gay bills um i knew myself when i was at least seven or eight that something was different but i didn't have a chance to educate because in the you know what early 2000s no one talked about it trans people only existed in one area and no one knew about it really so i didn't really discover it was a thing until 2016 2017 and i was like oh that's me i'm the same way and that's how i started down the path because i went down thinking i was gay thinking i was pan thinking i was bi and then come to find out like there was something else behind that too but i had no education on it i had to learn through media basically and that's why i like tiktok is 
you have so many trans creators out there talking about their experiences and we're helping educate, you know, people that don't get educated in schools. Exactly. Now, uh, may I ask if your family is supportive? Oh, they're not, no. <laughs> um, well, you know, you have a new family now. I do. Um, my, so. my dad stopped right after I came out. Um, my mom kind of lasted about six months. I guess she thought this was going to be a phase. And then when I started uh, hormones, that was like the nail in the coffin that was over with. Wow. Sounds like What's family. up, Thomas? Hi. Um, we okay? I, um, we're okay. We're streaming, and that's okay. about as good as we're going to get it tonight. That's about as good as we're going to get it, but that's perfectly fine. I don't care. Um, so now we really honestly, since we don't have any restrictions, we can say pretty much whatever we want because we're on YouTube. What so, happened? Um, let's just say... Uh, the the hierarchy at at our radio station who i'm not going to disparage didn't bother to let somebody know that hey eight o'clock is kind of our shit but whatever so uh, we're gonna keep this conversation going because we're already streaming and i don't care um so what's the word well good good fucking right, cool. yay yay fuck 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 fuckity fuck okay we, we we don't have to go all the way there but all right um cheers so so now that i know that this is what it is i'm gonna be brutally honest with you ali and i i I, and i'm not it's nothing against you you are family from this point fucking forward you are family um yeah i mean if you need a mom a a mom-like figure pick up the phone call me and that's the other and thing. I mean that. Yeah, that's the that's the other aspect of this. That's the other aspect of this that kind of really aggravates the hell out of me. We're talking about a group of people who simply want to go to bathrooms. They want to go Allie, have you ever asked for anything other than to be able to just simply be the fucking person that you are? Ever. No, that's the crazy thing is like people think we're asking for extra routes. We're just asking to be treated equal to use the bathroom at Walmart. Like that's a big deal. Yeah. And it, and the, 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 the part that pisses me off about this is the arguments that they use to fucking justify their bullshit. The arguments that they use are so fucking flimsy and so stupid. Well, what, what about the pedophiles? Let me tell you something. I have, I have known people who have been pedophiles. I've known them. Okay. Um, the gentleman who I'm not going to go all the way in, but a family member, two family members were molested. And the two gentlemen that did it were in church. One was an organ player. The other one was a pastor. I have been around trans people my whole life. Them two fucking, they, they never crossed over. You know what I mean? They never there was never any crossover between a transgender person wanting to molest children. So that argument by itself is, is fucking asinine. It's fucking asinine. You know, oh, it's funny. I used to work with a, uh, <clears throat> a funny thing is that never knew it at the time until he, until the feds came. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, I was working with a pedophile. He was one of the supervisors there. And then, all of a sudden, um, one day, Fed showed up, mm-hmm. took his computer, took all of his stuff, and just walked out. Till eventually, um, after some quite a few nosy people nosing around and doing everything that they do, of course, naturally mm-hmm. found out that, um, yeah, he had, uh, he had, uh, he probably should, he, he probably was on. On on uh, what's that show? Uh, Dateline. Oh, Dateline. Yeah. Yeah. Or the one with was the one with Chris Hansen that used to pop in and shit. Chris Hansen. Yeah. yeah. But I don't, yeah. yeah, exactly. I don't. I have been. I've had trans people in my life, my whole life. I come from the old school where they used to call them transvestites. They used to call them drag queens or love me some drag. Yeah, I love a drag queen. Exactly. 
but they were some of the most inviting, loving human beings you could possibly meet. This let idea- me tell you some. Let me tell you something. People like that, boys in dresses or trans people, the drag queens, the what have yous, are some of the most resilient people on the planet. And I will tell you why, because they get kicked down by both aspects of society, the straight society, the gay society, men and women. It doesn't matter what gender they are. Mm -hmm. And yet they still get up and i i fucking applaud that the resiliency that's the part about it though i mean it's almost like being bipolar you're born in one you're born in this gender but you don't identify with it and and you can understand the struggles between men and women mm -hmm. my god we should be all befriending trans people and saying help us but that's <laughs> crazy i think a lot of it and i'm this is in no way shape form or fashion um a defense because i ain't defending them motherfuckers but i don't think people know a trans person i don't think they know a trans person you can't you ever you ever had um you ever had a a, a, a story, hear a story from an old white guy who used to be racist and then came to the light or his wife or not his wife, but his daughter or his granddaughter uh, dated a black person. And all of a sudden they had to address that shit. You ever hear their stories? Well, when I was growing up, my daddy used to call everybody the N word, except for except for Mr. Johnson down the street. And Mr. Johnson was a good man. And my dad and him were best friends, but he called everybody else the N word. And I had to address that when my granddaughter brought home a little black baby. It was a mixed baby and it's my grand. That's, we don't have enough people doing that. We don't. We do not have enough people saying to themselves, I don't even know any trans people to hate them. I, of course, you're going to think they're predators if that's all the fuck you hear. If that's all you know, that is all you're going to think. But imagine, just imagine. You have all this animosity towards trans people and then you meet one and you're like, I dated one. I dated one. She, there you go. When he was, she got out of the shower with the towel around her waist. And I said, Lynn, I think you're trans. And years later, Lynn is still Lynn, but he he mm-hmm. is now he. I I I mad props. That's not that's that's where this idea of the other comes in. And even though I think you cannot, there's intersectionality between um the black rights movement and the gay rights movement. And I say that they they still have their own, you know, their own lanes, their own um histories and stuff. The, at the end of the day, the one thing that brings them all together is this idea of the other. The other is always the problem. Um, if you don't know Black people, except the shit you see on television or on Fox News or whatever, and then you meet a Black person, of course you're going to be freaked the fuck out. You don't know what the fuck to do with them. Like, oh, fuck, wait a minute, really? Hold on. He's not breaking into my car. He didn't have these big ass lips with a knife. This is a normal looking fucking guy with a pair of dockers on. The fuck? If you don't know gay people, you're in church every day. God just homosexual sin to God in hell. And then you leave the church and you take your ass to like a fucking uh, barbecue joint. And there's this normal gay man with his husband and they holding hands and giggling and shit. You go, those two seem normal. They just want some fucking barbecue. Right. Like the, the, this is this is what brings up the, the 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 religious zealousy that is part of Christianity. Is the simple fact is that you take what was pedophilia and what they hated against for so long, and then they just completely and utterly flip the script, and now it's completely on to the trans community. It is literally Jesus said this is a sin. 
And if you use the wrong bathroom, Jesus told me I can do what needs to be done to make sure that you never use that bathroom again or that you never step foot in this yep. area or you never do this. It's that, that Christian zealousy, dude, that is literally just ridiculous. Did That's, you see that that pastor, like yeah. this is like a week ago, yeah. stood in front of his congregation and he said he did that to a 16-year-old mm-hmm. and everybody yeah. forgave him. Yes. And now here, like two days ago, that pastor said we should stone, we should put him against the wall and shoot him. And that's where that's where people like myself yeah. that and to me, I'm not a superhero. I'm not. I'm a normal fucking guy. I get up in the morning, I put my pants on, I brush my teeth, I take my Adderall, I got dogs, I got a fucking homework and shit like that. But the only reason these people are able to get away with shit like that is because there are so many people willing to not say anything. They're so willing not to, I, well, you know, I, I have gay family members, but I can't say anything because these are my friends. Fuck them. No, fuck them. And it's perfectly okay to say that. Like pastor man can walk around and think he wants to stone gay people. He can even have a plan. He can go out and buy all the stones, the flat round stones he wants. He's more than welcome to. But the moment you decide, well, you know, I know there's an inclusion uh, 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 place around the corner where gay kids are at. I think I'll drive over there to stone. When you pull up with your stones and I just so happen to be driving past and I see you walking out. Oh, look, I know what that is. That's a lighthouse. That's that helps, you know, gay, lesbian and trans youth. Oh, shit. Is that that crazy pastor from the, the, the shit that I saw on TikTok? Is that a whole fucking truckload of stones? I think I'll get involved. And I tell them, you want to throw a rock at them, I'm going to punch you. Which I'm brings up a great yes. point. This little Idaho U-Haul mm-hmm. situation. Oh, Lord. Listen, if you see something, say something. Make a call. And, and mad props to those uh, people out there in Idaho. They, that's the thing. They should not have ever ever gotten that fucking far because again but thank god somebody called yes somebody got I, that. listen you will not hear me say i'm i'm not glad that somebody did not intervene you because will not hear me say that. but here's the but here's the problem you got a bunch of for better lack of words because i i get a lot of i hate alphabet mafia i hate lgbtqia and how many more things are we going to add to it can we just say you know gay queer i like the word queer uh it, it, but some people don't but say everybody under this rainbow umbrella Mm-hmm. because I don't believe that anybody is truly straight. I think we're all in flux. You know, it's funny to me, but who may, who decided who, who dictates who we love, who decided who dictates how I identify and why can't I identify as a whatever Not Christians. And I won't even say I won't even just say Christians because, and I tell this story honestly because it's it's this is a, a, about the truest indication of what I'm talking about. Okay, um, I my middle son is gay, and when he came out, I kind of knew because of some of the things he did when he was younger. When he was younger, and I tell this story is funny, but it's true. Um, when my my middle son was about two years old. He used to like to run on the tops of the sofa and then he would jump off because his mom had a love seat sitting there and he jumped in the chair. Well, then she moved it and put the television in the other place. So now I'm over there visiting him. He runs on the thing. Well, I don't want you leaping into the, sh- the television. So I run to the end. And I'm like, I got you, buddy. He leaped in my arms and he was like a swan. And then when I caught him, he was like, yes. And I'm like, this boy gay, all right? So I knew my son was gonna be gay. So when he came out to me at 17, I, it, I did not bat an eye. I'm like, okay, I know, whatever. You don't, you don't ashamed? No, I fucking love you. My niece came out. And when she came out, she came out 
the night my mother died. Okay. She came out the night my mother died. Um, and she eventually, because she lives in this Orthodox Muslim family. When she came out, my sister fucking threatened to kill her and shit like that. I don't, I don't see, I, I see a lot of Christians talking about what God hates, but not what God loves. And Ali, you were saying that your mom kind of pushed you off to the wayside, right? Yeah, like my dad, it was instant. Um, my mom kind of got harder to get in touch with for about six months. But as soon as I started hormones, it was just over with. Like, I guess she thought it was a phase and I was just going to, God, I was joking, you know, it was whatever. But as soon as I got on hormones and like my body started changing, didn't want nothing to do with me. It's crazy. What did you, so what did your father say? Oh, my, my father has threatened much violence against me. <laughs> you, you live with that. That, wow. that is something you live. Like, I can't, like I was telling you about my niece. I can't live my niece's life. I don't know because, you know, I can accept her, but I'm her uncle. I accepted my son. His mom, not so much. You live with that knowledge of what your father said, correct? Yeah. Like is it is, is it like a con like every once in a while it's like just the thing that replays in your mind, like um, maybe in like a, a bad like maybe you're in a bad situation or something like that, and then all of a sudden something pops up back in your mind that maybe your father had said or your mom had said or somebody else that you knew had said to you after this had happened. Not anymore. Um, I kind of get pleasure in not giving him that acknowledgement because I know he still thinks about me and. I think that's kind of me getting back at him because I just don't think about him anymore. And um, my mom kind of hurt though, like it's my mom, but nowadays I have like this whole TikTok family and like I have discords of other trans people and like I have enough to keep my mind busy. Like I don't really think about my parents anymore. Yeah, we, we had a, an incident yesterday on TikTok. Um, Chloe, who, yeah. you know, had a situation where nobody could really find her and she had left a a note on reddit and it brought me back to and I, i've told this story before um my friend chrissy who killed herself and i i, I felt personally felt like i had failed chloe until you know, we got confirmation that she was okay. Um, I personally don't, I don't think I, I, I don't understand the concept of turning your back on a child. I don't, I mean, so they lost a son and gained a daughter with the, I mean, the kid's still there, you know, this yeah. is still the, we put diapers on you. We helped you walk. We taught you things. We still did all of these things you're still their child. And that, like, I want to know, does it just come down to like your sex off? Like, is that what they care about that much? Because nothing else really changes. My body, my mentality has always been this way. I'm just open about it. Is it what I do in the bedroom to, for you guys too? It, like, what? Yes. <laughs> can, we, can we fucking be honest? Can we be honest for once? Yes. Yes, that's all this shit comes down to. And unfortunately, we live in this damn pure Puritan fucking society it's where, butt stuff. yeah, oh my goodness, does Ali do butt stuff? You know, oh what the fuck God. kind of shit is that? <laughs> what the fuck is, why, why is that a big thing? Because you know what else? That happens to be the normative belief system amongst people i won't even give it a race but i'll just say people everybody cares about what somebody does in the bedroom they see ali wonder what ali does in the bedroom they see muscles in nursing what does he do in the bedroom that's all that comes down to that's why they're worried about you going in the bathrooms and shit because they think you're going to do your butt stuff to their children what the fuck kind of who thinks like this see, that, I, that's what brings back the christian jealousy is because the simple fact is that it's no longer worried about the pastor or, you know, your brother or, you know, the guy in the bathroom. It's going to be the individual who walks in there who's 
to them is supposedly wanting to be the other gender so they're going in the wrong bathroom to do stuff to their children and that's just what's fucking stupid and how many of these christian pastors have been caught out there with their drawers hanging down how many yeah like the southern baptist thing that came out like nobody's 250 pages ladies and gentlemen Mm -hmm. 250 motherfucking pages of of most of it's with children and how many yeah. trans people were on there? Funny thing is that I have a friend that's uh, he, he's super oh, conservative Christian, the conservative of the most conservative Christian. And the funny thing is, is that all for whatever reason he has, he if you are not if you are not a cisgender white male, you are wrong, no matter what. You are wrong. Because, again, it goes back and, to that idea that we all have to worry about what somebody does in a bedroom. Which, and that's it. That's it, exactly. And and even if, um, like, he, if you're not dressed like a conservative Christian, you are even, you're wrong. You're still wrong. You can you may be cisgender, cis, but if you are not dressed conservative Christian, you are wrong. That's so, and that, that. Still wrong. And it's thing it's funny because if you go through the Bible, some of the stories in there, you're gonna literally go, you're worried about the wrong thing. You know, David, yeah. David set up Bathsheba's wife, a <laughs> husband, got him murk so that he could fuck her. Ain't me making that up. That's not me making it up. He set that man up so he could bang his wife. One of David's sons molested his daughter. It's in the Bible. I'm not making this up. It happened. His other son, Solomon, had like 900 wives. No, he had, what do you have? 700 wives and 300 concubines. Side chicks. Okay? So this man out here banging out a thousand women, but oh my goodness, we cannot let two gay people in the back. What kind of shit? The, 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 there's my favorite fr- my favorite oh my goodness like, I'll just have that, that yes that like TikTok wait a minute just entered my head look um ezekiel 23 20 where these women basically went after guys who were well endowed okay this is put it that way oh, when Lord. you try to put shit in that book on people's lives, you lose. Because I can guarantee, fuck, Ali, and I'm going to ask you, this is rhetorical, it's stupid as shit, but please follow along with me. You're not trying to have 700 wives and 300 concubines? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, man? I mean, Why not, man? You, Why not? <laughs> you... You're not you're not gonna set up. I'm, I'm gonna put a scenario. You find a guy that you really find is attractive. He's very attractive. You plan on sleeping with him, so you set his wife up to get killed in a car accident, just so you can bang him. No, because I'm not Christian. I wouldn't do. That. There you go. <laughs> there you go. If it'd be so, a great movie, though. It would be. That shit would be fantastic. Right? But no, because it would. All it would do is make fucking people hate gay people even more but that's my that is my point though ah, that is exactly man, just change it all cis, cisgender white exactly great movie okay let's be honest you know how white people hate black people because black people are so fucking fabulous with everything whether it's music dancing dressing it's the same thing with fucking gays you fucking knew because they're yes. so damn glittery and fabulous and I, it's like you know, why can't I read a bitch like a queen or a black woman? Why can't I? Oh, that's right. Because I'm fucking vanilla, blanched, bleached, white fucking flower. It's it, it, it to me, they're putting fictional stories ahead of people that stand in front of them. I, and I'm going to be honest with you. It, Allie's my kid, okay? Allie's my kid. My kid Allie too. comes up, Allie comes up and says, I'm trans. That's still my kid. That's still my fucking child. I, I, I was there, born. Here, here you are, oh my goodness. Look at the little feet, little fingers. Oh wow, he skinned his knee. 
Well, now he's a she. Okay, so all those fucking stories that I had, she is born. Look at her little feet. Look at her skin, her knee. You, when you put fiction, and I'm sorry, the, the mm. most holy books are filled with shit that ain't been, I don't care, there's that fucking ark in Kentucky. You show me a boat that can fill with all the animals on earth and the polar bears actually walked willingly to this motherfucker along with the penguins and the sea lions i'll believe you but you that was another one that that honestly i could not understand I don't, that story. No, I don't get it i don't and I, and the thing is i don't knock anybody who does i don't if your faith leads you to be a better person a better human being, a better steward, a better husband, a better father, whatever. Fine. I don't have a problem with it. But when you take it out of that and start going towards people who are actually existing. Right. That, past, that, that fucking pastor, mm-hmm. it, 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 it's steadfast. Perfect example. You have lost the plot, dude. You lost the plot. Because everybody wants to stay their ass in the Old Testament. Everybody wants to dance around in the Old Testament. The Old Testament is filled with all the fuckery. Abraham hearing voices and shit going off his kid. Okay, hey, but when you that get to the sounds, New that Testament, just sounds like schizophrenia to me. But I mean, but when you get to the New Testament, that's when you get to the main character, the Jesus guy. You know him. He said, "Love thy God with all thy heart, and love thy neighbor as thyself." So guess what? Here you are, Christian conservative man. You live next door to Allie. Allie is a fucking beautiful trans woman. Good morning, Allie. Jesus loves you. And you don't mean it sarcastically. You mean it fucking literally. Hey, Allie, look at me. Look at me. Jesus loves you. Jesus. And fucking me. Somebody's fucking with Allie. Hey, hey, hey. You know, I'm just going to be mama bear right now. Do not push your jesus narrative on this beautiful young woman don't push it on anybody if 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 it's coming to, and there is a there is a a preacher and i cannot remember what his fucking name is but he's in a black church in atlanta and he talked about hypocritical christians and how if you take the the songs out of the hymn book that were written by gay people you wouldn't be able to really sing anything and that nobody says anything about the choir director being gay as long as the music sounds good but it it, people uh, according to this man people need jesus you're supposed to lead them to jesus trans people just happen to be the new boogeyman on the block they do because i victoria and i both remember the the aids 80s remember that shit Oh yeah, I, I I remember. Um, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, fucking Missy B's is the 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 biggest gay club in Kansas City, and I remember them putting a banner because this was back when fucking Larry Kramer lost his shit and said, "You know what? Fuck being nice. We're gonna be assholes." And they he created Act Up, so Missy B's had an Act Up fucking banner across their damn door. They were like. All are welcome. You can go to Missy B's today and be treated like family. And when I said I've had gay people in my life and I've had trans people in my life all my life, this is a part of my life. So when I watched how people were treating gay people, how they were treating trans people, um, I remember a, a trans woman in Kansas City got really fucked. And I think she died, if I'm not mistaken. I think she died. But um, a carload of guys showed up one night because she, you know, she's trans. So she can't really, there's not a whole lot of jobs for her. So she's a sex worker, which goes hand in hand with a lot of this. Um, And a carload of guys fucking beat her, like beat her. And that (laughs) stood with me, that stayed with me because they had it on the news. And my mom was like, wow, that's just horrible, heartbreaking. And you, they showed a picture of a little black, beautiful black woman. You know, they didn't give her, they gave her male name or dead name or whatever. And they said she was in critical condition. And I don't think she made it. I don't. 
you know, stories like that. And it, it, it was the AIDS panic. Oh, well, don't get near them. They're going to give us AIDS. They have been doing this for decades. The lavender scare, um, outing people. And, you know, it's just, it's um, so many different things. Oh, about the hill border. Okay. But the trans community is now the new boogeyman. Now mm -hmm. it is. And unfortunately, there are lives involved in this. There are people that are just trying to, they, they just want to go to the bathroom, just want to go to work. Well, it's like you know? the Brandon Tina story of Boys Don't Cry. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, look what they do to women and sexual assault cases. That kid in South Carolina that keeps getting off because he's rich, he's white, he wouldn't fare well in prison. Well, you know, that's a fucking you problem. You should have thought of that before you committed these felonies and graped a whole bunch of fucking women because now it's your turn to bend over and take it it's, it's, and, exactly. in prison. Jeez. You know, they don't give a fuck about women. <laughs> they most certainly don't give a fuck about trans people. Could yes, and trans women. One and the, clearly, with all these bills, we so, see that exactly. One one of the hardest things for trans women to, especially trans women, ended up going to jail. They always end up putting trans women in men's prisons, which is a death sentence. It's a fucking death sentence because they're going to see them as whatever, and they're going to try to kill them. They, they 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 have higher rates of sexual assault. They have higher rates of you know trans people have higher rates of suicide. You know, I mean, it's it, four times likely. Yeah, it's so the the idea of well, we just have to love these people, or you know, they have to conform. They have to con why why not change society to become more diverse and not make these people who simply just want to live their fucking lives. They just want to, they want to go to bathrooms. They want to go to the restaurants. They want to go out and outside. They want to go to parks. They want to be, in, they want to fall in love. They want to work. Why not let them do that instead of trying to make them conform to society that doesn't fucking understand them in the first place. It's not their job. I'm sorry. It is not trans people's job to fucking make society accept them they are who the fuck they are society is supposed to accept them anyway i walk out the door i'm six feet tall bald with earrings i'm a black man i'm not asking society to well we'll tolerate the black guy no motherfucker i'm not i'm not going home and bleaching my fucking skin fuck you i'm a black man i will be a black man until i ask the dead then i'll be a dead black man all trans people are asking for is that just that Leave them the fuck alone. Let them go. Hey, if I had a company, and I mean this sincerely, I've said this over and over. If I had a large company, I would hire nothing but trans people. Nothing. Would it be discrimination? No. No. Because they would be the best candidates. Because nine times out of ten, they are. Give. There should be more than just TV shows. You know, it shouldn't take a Laverne Cox for people to see trans visibility. Laverne Cox, beautiful woman, don't get me wrong, beautiful in a motherfucker, but she is not the, the, the standard bearer for, for trans people. Just like fucking Caitlyn Jenner isn't the, 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 oh, you know, we have trans visibility, Caitlyn Jenner's here. No, fuck no, just let them live their fucking lives. I would, I would create a company and a space where trans people can just be fucking comfortable. Make the bathrooms non-sexual. Who the fuck thinks about banging children and shit in bathrooms in the first place? This so great is... point, great, great point that Elizabeth brought up to me when she got back from Denmark from being over in Europe mm -hmm. is that she was talking about looking at his girlfriend. You know, all of these people. I'm filming a lot. I'm doing us. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but like. From what she has told me when it comes to the bathrooms, 
you know, there compared to what we have. If we just had more privacy in our bathrooms, why the fuck would it be such a big deal anyway? Because it's like almost going into an individual room as it is anyway to use a stall. Mm -hmm. Unlike here where you've got gaps in the doors and you've got little gaps underneath the, you know, where you can still see the toilets and everything else like that. You're still making things not as private as you can make it. Like the bathrooms there were private. You can literally walk in. It's like coming into, going into another room that is a private stall, basically, you, in the bathroom. It, yeah, that's you, genderless. You go into fucking. I go to the 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 right. Incheon fucking airport in 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 South Korea. The damn stall door is longer than everything else in that motherfucker. You are not seeing anything. You go in, you do your business. There's a bidet, and then you get the fuck out. You know, nobody thinks. Only Americans think like this because trans people around the world. Outside of America, they kind of just, it, it is what it is. I've been to Germany. I've seen, I saw a absolutely gorgeous trans woman in Berlin. I, I was taken aback. I was like, Ooh, just gorgeous. And it's just normal to them. That, Hi, I'm, I'm a woman and I go on about the damn business. We have to start making society realize that trans isn't abnormal. No, it's very common in cultures. They should. Yeah, we've been here for hundreds of years. Exactly. They should not have to be entertainers. They shouldn't have to make us laugh or do TV shows. They shouldn't have to be, oh, I'm part of the Kardashian clan. They're normal fucking people. And that's why I, I, I will continue to preach acceptance rather than tolerance because, you know, your body tolerates things. Um, when, you, when you have cancer, you take chemotherapy, they say your tolerance level is going up. I want to start seeing trans people just be normal. One of the reasons I follow, Ali, the real reasons I really follow you on TikTok is because you're just normal. There's no, you're normal um chloe normal chris uh oh my god crystal good friend of mine normal just there's uh there's a trans woman in kentucky really i'm friends with a trans man that used to be a a retired nurse anesthetist there is a trans man in the united states military that would outdo damn near every fucking guy on tiktok today that motherfucker is cock diesel like swole up (laughs) big as I, when they told me he was trans, I said, bullshit. That motherfucker, he does pull-ups for fun, just for no reason. I'm, a, I'm just pulling up for nothing. I'm a, That's what I'm going to do. He, do. he does fucking push-ups. Like, he'll knock out 25 push-ups. It's fucking back. He got the wing thing on with the back. You know, you do the thing with the... And you got the wings. He's got the wing shit on his back. And they were like, oh, he's trans. The fuck? I said, well, I damn sure wouldn't have noticed i did not notice at all i i had no fucking idea um i know ali you have to go mm-hmm. um we you are, are now top of the hour you are top we gotta worry about top of the hour we ain't screaming fuck them we're doing it we got it's that top of the hour on youtube <laughs> fuck them Bang! But Allie, you are a member of the Villains View family. You are always welcome back here whenever you want. You are one of us. So you are you. loved. You, you are, are appreciated. Yep. And you're accepted. valued and I wouldn't change a thing. I I I, I will accept a bunch of laws and yeah. protections and I, changing ignorant people. You know, you, you're say- amazing. I will say this much, and I'm dead serious about this. Rub it in their face. If you fall in love, <laughs> you you got a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever, show pictures. Flaunt, show flaunt it. A lot. Flaunt Just, it all around in look, their you got, you got a, you got, you have the ability to do three minutes. Put that shit to music and just, this is me in love. Show the fuck everything. I want you, I don't want you to be the face of trans people. I want yes. you to have a normal fucking life to where we don't have to have a face of the day. We no longer have to have a face of trans, just like we don't have to have a face of black, whatever the fuck. 
will be the day that we know society is actually fucking, you know, made it. I just want to see you be you and continue mm. to be you and keep smiling. And if you ever have a bad day, you now have a family. I, I'm not going to say I'm your daddy because that's just weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's just weird. You know, I'll be your uncle. Uh, uh, that's not even, I'm, I'm your big brother. Fuck it. I'm your big brother. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm your big brother. I'm your I'm your mom's oldest, oldest, oldest kid. Like I'm probably older than your mom. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. You are. You're, I'm older than your mom. So I'll, I'll I'll be your big uncle. Your mom's <laughs> older brother. I love everybody. I don't give a fuck. Your mom and dad are stupid. And Allie, I'll be whoever you need me to be. I'm just an old okay. homogeny salty. Wow, look at her with the dark night. Oh, it's so cute. But thank you so much for coming on this show. I greatly appreciate it. And we will definitely have to have you back. Thank you for having me. I had fun. Hey, hey Allie, Allie, Try. I'll be here for you too. I mean, I I will I, I will fuck with you. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> thank you. But just know, just know does. it's all out of love. Just know it's and all out of love. Just just to let you know, and I know this is gonna sound weird coming from somebody like me, but I would stand in a breach for you. You Thank were you. never. It, it, I would stand in the fucking breach for you, and I mean that. I fucking mean that. There's. God, you got not, you got him. You got me. You got angry. You have got Victoria. You have got everybody in the villains guild. We're here, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And, and like, and, even though I know that you you technically came on here because Thomas agreed to this, yeah. I'm still very appreciative of you coming on. For real, uh, it's it's been a pleasure and an honor. Thank you. You make me Thank sound you. important and shit. <laughs> but thank you, Ali. I appreciate it. I greatly appreciate it. If you guys are not following, give them your TikTok name again. It's Freak Squeak, just one word. If you're not following Freak Squeak, I don't know why you even have TikTok. I don't. I'm sorry. I don't know why the fuck you still have it. Shut the um, fuck up. Hey, man, I'm trying to. <laughs> hey, give me yeah, off, Ali, we're, we're a hodgepodge of this, that, and the other. But We're you know the project. thing that unifies us is fucking love, acceptance, <laughs> um, honesty, authenticity. Uh, you know, it's your parents' loss. Watching it, you, it truly you, is. It's sad, Ali. Before you go, be. I want to tell you this story. I have tried to raise my kids that whether they come home with somebody outside of their religion, outside of their race outside of their gender or same gender, whatever, that they were going to be loved and accepted, okay? My 15-year-old son came to me and said, Mom, I know you're going to be disappointed, but I'm a Republican. I still fucking love my kid. You hear me? You hear me? You can do no wrong, kid. <laughs> you're Allie, good you're Allie, good I will give you the last word before you go anything you want to get off anything you want to say no i'm good i just had fun talking to y'all um it was fun i appreciate being on here so i just chat that's fun not a problem not a problem thank you for being here thank, thank y'all y'all have a great night um you love y'all well. oh, love, love you, you too love stop you too. that now you're trying to <laughs> love yourself. you too take care Allie. take care okay, bye bye all righty, so we're still streaming, and we still got one more hour because that's the goddamn professionals we are. I'm streaming over here. I mean, I'm trying to like let people know what we're doing too. I know. Tell them I said hello. Hello, right, so Thomas Bishop says hello. We brought Gilbert on to talk about social media. Oh, that's Gilbert right there. Let me see. And zoom. that is Gilbert right. That's for there. you, Joker. That's yeah, just, he'll blow up in a minute. Everybody's hello, hello, hello. Everybody's hello, 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 everybody. All right, so this is directed to you. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter, and I don't, like, him. It. I don't uh, like it. Sorry, I don't <laughs> like it. I'm sorry, I don't like it. But I, was, I have to. I have to preface that with this. I love the boys. I love Invincible. Mm -hmm. I love The Marvelous Miss Maisel. All three of those shows are on Amazon streaming or Prime Video. 
Prime is owned by Amazon. Amazon is owned by Jeff Bezos. I don't fucking like him. I have seen some really cool ass Teslas. I would never buy one because I do not like Elon Musk. So can we I wouldn't buy one because I don't think they're worth $240,000. They're not. But fuck them. No, no, we, not at can all. We admit, can we admit that honestly and openly that having oligarchs and rich people own media corporations and social media is a problem? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. It's it's always been a problem with with the Uber Rich owning literally everything like that because simply put is that like how you see with gas prices and and groceries and everything they control it they own it Mm -hmm. they set the price on it and they will and unfortunately we're going to pay for it because why we have no choice but when you when you when you think about it americans I've been I've been around I've been on uh, across this planet, and one thing I can honestly mm-hmm. say every time I come home, I've been to I've been to South Korea twice, I've been to Norway, England, Germany twice, I've been to fucking uh, Afghanistan, I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been to fucking the Bahamas, I've been to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba three fucking times. But one thing I notice every single time I come back is how lacking the American people are. And one of the reasons I say that we're lacking is because our media organizations are not here to teach us. Our media organizations are here to make a profit. It's that simple. You can, you can, you can lie about it. You can pretend like it does not exist, but the, the fact of the matter is before <laughs> fucking what, 1980, no, 1990 something, Media organizations were losing money, a lot of it. But well, see, during that time, that's only thing mainly they were doing. They were just weren't really adding their personal feelings toward it. No. You know, they were more kind of this is what happened. This is fact. This is what happened, mm-hmm. and that's kind of why they were losing the money like that. Is because they weren't catering to their, their big, they weren't catering to businesses, basically. Exactly. To, or it was, people with money. Yeah, it they was catering only, to it. Yeah, think about it. We had three, we had three television channels, ABC, NBC, CBS. We had Walter Cronkite, who was the king mm-hmm. of telling us who, what, where, when, why, period. That's it. This is all you need to know. Um, when the Vietnam War was going poorly, Walter Cronkite was the person who basically said that out loud because it was truthful. And then, because we also had something called the Fairness Doctrine. And the Fairness Doctrine basically stated that if you give airtime to one opinion, you have to give equal amount of time to an opposing opinion. So, I can be, you know, liberal candidate for president. And I can say, here's a list of things that I want us to accomplish. Here's a list of things that aren't happening. My opponent would have to have equal amount of time to be able to talk about what they are going to do. So if we still had the fairness doctrine, there would not be a Fox News. There, I said it. I'm I'm, I'm being dead ass honest. If we still had a fairness doctrine, we would not have a Fox News. We would not. Because yeah. for every hour that Fox News plays a Sean Hannity, <laughs> there would have to be an equal hour for somebody to come in and say everything that you just heard from this idiot uh, uh, fucking two minutes ago was wrong. But we don't have it anymore. Thank you, Bill fucking. No, thank you, Ronald Reagan. And thank you, Bill Clinton, for you know basically deregulating you know, fucking the, 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 so the industry, the media industry. So then you come into, cl- you come into social media and we have, we have been so used, we have been so programmed to believe that our media is corrupt, except this, our personal channels. Mm-hmm. We now have what is called media a la carte. If I want, 
some facts that cater to my po uh, political positions or my po uh, personal bias, I can find it now. But then when you get to something like, because the other thing that Jeff Bezos owns is the New York, not New York, the Washington Post. He owns the Washington Post. So when you get to somebody owning a, a, a fucking newspaper, or see, now that, that, that's where I do have a problem with is, yes. because is it that because problem. it's one thing if he owns Amazon and is a retailer, that's one thing. But when you start trying to, to get into communications and media, then you're basically trying to tell the world what you want them to know mm -hmm. and which. And that's, that's exactly what ends up happening. That's mm -hmm. where you end up with situations like what we have right now, because um, Jeff Bezos, not Jeff Bezos, but Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter. Okay. And he wants to bring back, you know, first amendment. Yeah. One of the first yeah. things he said, one of the very first things he said he was going to do was allow Donald Trump back in. Now let's, let us all remember why Donald Trump was kicked off of Twitter in the first place. Was it for the Kofefi? No. Was it for nope. the, the Obama tap a pip my phone? No. Was it for any of the myriad of other fucking things he did before January 6, 2021? No. It took a fucking insurrection for that man to be kicked off of Twitter. So Elon Musk comes in and he says, well, sure, Donald Trump can have Twitter. He can have his Twitter back. I got kicked off of Twitter. And I will tell you exactly what I said to get kicked off of Twitter. Candace Owens said some Candace Owens shit. Who cares? It's, some yeah. ca it's Candace Owens shit. Or you know, Candace Owens being whatever. Candace Owens. Yeah. It, it, oh, black person did wrong. Blah, blah, blah. Insert Candace Owens. Or special sauce of candace I said, and I quote, well, a coon got a coon. I didn't direct it at her. I simply said a coon got a coon and I got kicked off of Twitter. Now, that to me was a First Amendment thing. All I did was call somebody. I didn't call her that. I said a coon got a coon. He's hilarious. Yeah. But, but I get kicked off. This motherfucker incited an insurrection on the the federal government and Elon <clears throat> Musk says well we can probably let him back this, how alright Gilbert I, explain hmm. to me how tell me how please <clears throat> how. that's I, just a, a, it, there's, there's a whole lot of details to it but overall it's just um, girl I got you one, one, one motherfucker with just too much money. That's all it is to it. Because. Yes, Victor. All right. Uh, I, I am here to remind you about Phoenix Rising. Do you remember last week or oh, whatever? Dear God. It was? Tell Phoenix I apologized already. I did not call oh, her. Oh, no. You She's like two years older than me. at this queen. <laughs> God. Tell her I will get back to her. I <laughs> Mm. We love you, Thomas. Yeah, we love you, love Gilbert. Gilbert. We love oh, you, Jeffrey. You. Joker. <laughs> yep, Joker. Joker, hello. Is anyone there? Is he really? You did you just uh, zone out, dude? The fuck? Huh? Oh my god. Anyway, just <laughs> follow with us. <laughs> follow with us. We're talking. Um, but go ahead, Gilbert. I'm probably yeah, with with. Musk and and the whole thing. All right. First off, my, my first issue I have is how much is, is 44 bill, 44 billion. 44 motherfucking billion dollars. You know that company has yeah. been losing Dude, how, every year for about five years. I mean, like, who's got that kind of money? 44, 44 billion dollars. It could fucking... Mm. The, what it could do to to, we to could solve just, homelessness with twenty billion? It could solve homelessness. It could solve it. It, it could solve uh, uh, people could, going hungry. 
Yes, we could. I mean, literally solve homelessness that, in America for twenty billion dollars. That amount, and he's spending it on a fucking app. Yes, I mean, let's just just break it. Down. I mean, Twitter is is just an app. But you know so what? This it. tells you about our species. Exactly. Well, tells we don't America. give oh, a flying fuck about it. It tells you about America. Thank you, Jeffrey. No, this I is the American that. oligarchy. This is exactly what this the is... American oligarchy is about. Yes. This is this how is... you can see the hierarchy from the, the rest of us. This right? is exactly. America. meaning for everything. Yes. This yeah. is America. Can, can we just America. divert for just a moment, gentlemen, right please? In. Can yeah. we just yeah. divert? I saw a little ticky tacky about how uh, the UN or who the fuck ever should have jumped in about this Russian Ukraine shit from the get go, because now all the food that Russia would have produced and the Ukraine, uh, and there might be, there are little whispers of a fucking global famine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Let that sink in. Of course. We'll spend money so, on an app. Do you think we won't be running around killing each other like with like look, that man went to the UN and that man went to the UN and promised that he was going to give a certain amount of billions of dollars to help the the economy here in America. People and the shit. UN was expecting to do that, and then what did he do? Not two months later, he backed out of it. It's the same thing right now with Twitter. It's why he has not signed the contract yet. But that's 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 oh, of course. The, I mean that the, that's his. That's his thing. He, yes. He's doing what basically a businessman does is that uh, he's making an offer and then he's doing literally anything he can to, to pick apart, poke holes, pick, 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 and, and knock that $44 billion yeah, because now forty-four he didn't, billion he didn't, down he doesn't and, and either get what he's he paying for or knock it down to where he's only paying like $20 billion. Yeah, he he's he's yeah, mad now because he doesn't have all the information on the bots. Oh my goodness, we need to know about the bots. There's too many Russian bots. Let me tell you something. This is America's, you know, fucking sucking off of fame. Because if Elon Musk, if Elon Musk was just, let's say Elon Musk was a member of the apartheid fucking like, well, his father was, his father was. But let's say Elon Musk, you know, his dad got his money from, you know, apartheid South Africa. And he was proud of this. He bragged about it. Well, my money came from mm -hmm. uh, apartheid South Africa. Would people be fucking riding on his nuts the way they do? Of course they wouldn't. Of course they wouldn't. But America is so fixated on famous people. I mean, think about it. We elected a centrist Democrat who just so happened to be black, which again, historic and people who disliked him so much answered that with electing a fucking reality TV star. He's not the first celebrity to ever be a president of the United States of America. If no, you but the one that, fucking did president you hear who that Herschel yeah. Walker won his little primary? Exactly. It matter. Yeah, but really that's what I'm saying. That's my point. Okay. We, Does this not are, scare you? It, it, and it's, here's the it, thing is that I believe that celebrities have absolutely no place in politics. They don't. Period. But when they allowed Ronald Reagan, who was a C-list actor at best, to mourning in America the fuck out of us and walk into the White House, and I'm just going to say this, it's going to be offensive and I don't give a fuck. I think Ronald Reagan had Alzheimer's. He had the beginning stages of Alzheimer's when he was elected in 1980. There, I said it. And I think it got progressively worse as he went on. I don't like, I don't like the fact that we are beholden to older white people and we are beholden to celebrities. Now, Matthew McConaughey went and did a White House press briefing about the Uvalde issue. Literally about to brought that up. Yeah, because yeah. he is a a a fucking uh, resident. He's it, that's his hometown. Uvalde, Texas, is his hometown. In that regard, yes, you're using your voice, you're using your fame, you're using whatever to bring light to something. A, situa a, a situation involving the massacre of children. Mm -hmm. Great, but when you start doing shit like, I don't like the press I'm getting, so I'm going to buy the newspaper. 
or I don't like the way people talk about me on Twitter, so I'm going to buy Twitter. And there are people, there. the fucking right-wingers are just celebrating, just jumping for joy. Yeah, Elon's going to own Twitter. That's not good. That's not fucking good. Because at some point, Elon is going to, my little comment about Candace Owens, he'd have came after me. He'd have came after me. Oh, fucking, how dare you talk about one of our finest American people, Candace Owens. No, fuck her, I don't care. The First Amendment covers my right to be able to say whatever I want. Now, I understand the government can't say shit to me, but it doesn't mean I can't have consequences. Me getting kicked off Twitter is a consequence. I live with that. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump fucking sowed the seeds of an insurrection on Twitter. How you can't even. There's something just categorically fucked up about giving that man a platform back. Let's put something and, in the chat. All of TikTok boy, is in uh, <laughs> all of TikTok is in an uproar about what I just put in the chat. Uh-huh. Fuck uh -huh. Oh god. The, it's no, true. Because they want to be oppressed so bad. No. And I, I'm sorry. No, Say it you don't to my face because I'm going to laugh because I think it's hysterical. You, you are not about to to run the government. You gonna say You're not about white? To run you want to say whitey? Yeah. You want to call me? I mean, this, look, it's hilarious to me. Do y'all remember? It has no power to me, and I find it ridiculous. I, I when I, I when I got on to uh, got on TikTok in 2020, it was in November. So February comes around. I think I'm going to do something educational. Black history facts you need to know. That's what I did. The entire fucking month was video after video after video after video of white people going, how come I can't say the N-word? Why are we even having this conversation? Why is this a conversation to be had on fucking social media? Here you go. Stop making videos about it. Just go up. Just say it. What? You get up in the morning, get your little pug, put his ass in his little vest, put on your little fucking, you know, your Birkenstocks or whatever the fuck, walk your ass outside, mm -hmm, inward, 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 I like to say the inward, inward, and when somebody slaps the brakes off your fucking ass, congratulations, that's called consequences. Stop Fuck making it. Right but it yeah. happened. Find it, out. It happened <laughs> again. It happened hey, which, again. Is, this uh, past February. When you talk about February. consequences and yes. everything, that brings me up to my second part about that with fucking Elon Musk and the goddamn Twitter and fucking mm -hmm. Donald Trump and his yep and his stupid ass. So, and again, that that whole thing with him bringing him back on is there was a reason, like you said, he got kicked off because of that shit. The man tweets are being and used whole, in the January 6th and, and, investigation. Yeah. And the whole thing is that, all right, and Musk is uh, saying that, oh, well, that violated his First Amendment rights. He should uh, Twitter, da 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 da. And what's the funny thing is that I had a friend of mine that he defended, he defended Trump to, to, to keep his Twitter because that wasn't right because he didn't do anything. He just said some words. That was other people that they're stupid. They they listened to him. They believed him, and, and they just did all that themselves. Yeah, you know, that's not his fault. Uh, yes, the fuck it is his fault. Yeah, the fuck it is. Here's the other. Uh, thing. Yes, the fuck it is one because nobody there. They wouldn't have done any of that shit the if man he never out. said. If he never said he he gave that speech and he nobody would have ever done that shit. Yep. He tweeted out, be there January 6th, will be wild. Mm -hmm. And then the insurrection happened. Here's the, exactly. thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. During the January 6th committee thing that they had on, and I'm mm -hmm. watching it, literally any of them Trumplican, fascist, uh, mm -hmm. conservative, right-wing idiots cannot sit there and still continuously go, well, no, it was really, it was Antifa and it was BLM. Antifa <laughs> or BLM are not going to fucking read his tweet. On a yeah. loudspeaker no. about Mike Pence. It, look, listen, <laughs> listen. Here's two things I really want people to understand. Twitter is a hellscape. 
Elon Musk well, like Dave Chappelle buy, said, Twitter he, isn't real. No, Twi- Elon Musk wants to buy a fucking hellscape. Here's some things you can see on Twitter right now, and I'm not making this up because I have I I might not still have my damn account, but I can still look at Twitter. These are the things that I've seen. I have seen a man threaten a woman with bodily harm and sexual assault. I have seen porn. Not a little Mm -hmm. bit of porn. I'm talking a whole five-minute clip. Uh I have seen... Uh I saw... I saw a dog. Not making this up. I saw a dog going to... You know, you take a dog to a groomer. Somebody grooming a Nazi swastika into the side of the damn dog. I have seen people tweet out Shit like black folks are rapists. White women's biggest fear are black men raping them. It's a fucking hellscape. Elon Musk wants to own that. So number one, why? Why the fuck would you own that? Why? 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 Why in the fiddling flying fuck would you want to own that thing? That dude. To me, it, I think it's either this. I, I think it's either this because the whole free speech thing, it, it's bullshit to me. It really is. Because, I'm sorry. I mean, honestly, if, it, if we thought we could. You're a fucking billionaire. Own, Why the fuck we would you want to buy, buy, buy an app that you could just. You could just go on some on another platform and say the same shit that you just want to say. Why? There's something else. So it's like either this. It, it's either somebody dared him to buy Twitter. I hope he did. Hope. If we or, thought we or he I mean, made a bet with somebody that he has to buy Twitter and he's trying to find a way to get it as cheap as possible. And that's why he's going this whole what bots? I need a bots. What what about I need a bot count? What about the bots? And he's making this whole big shit about bots, which bots run Twitter. Period. Without bots, Twitter wouldn't exist. Yeah. Without bots, nothing would get promoted. Without bots, Star Wars wouldn't be shit. Without bots, Harry Potter wouldn't be shit. Without bots, fucking Marvel, DC, none. It would nothing. be shit without bots. Nothing. Victoria, what was you about to say? But I'm sorry, Victoria. Go ahead. Oh, uh, you're fine. You know, when 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 white people Europeans enslaved other people or when other groups enslaved other peoples at what point in your mind do you say I can own another human being something that that is just like me that has the same experiences that I do this is exactly why he thinks he can own and buy and 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 just degrade Twitter to whatever fucking perversion he wants. And that's sad because Twitter's already perverted. It, Elon, really? Musk, Elon Musk owning Twitter, and I mean this, and I'm serious about this. Elon Musk owning Twitter is going to literally be the end of everything you know about social media. They have tried this with, with, with TikTok. They have tried it. There have been out-and-out races. There have been out-and-out Home, homophobes there have been out mm-hmm. now just sexist human beings and somehow these people still have a platform right and 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 what tiktok does is they gear towards the algorithm now mind you i can say that about tiktok you know well you have a hard five uh, uh um follower count i was talking to somebody last night and i told him i don't even look at that i don't I, every once in a while, when I actually look on my page, I go, oh, shit, I'm up at six, blah, 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 whatever. But I don't look at my follower count. I don't. I don't care. Because what I'm saying is important. What I'm saying needs to be said to people. Twitter is not going to do that under Elon Musk. What you're going to see is everything you hate about. Imagine, imagine if 4chan and 8chan had sex and their child started walking. That child would be Twitter under Elon Musk. 4chan right now, yeah. I go to, I've, I've been to 4chan. It is horrid over there. It is horrible. 
and I don't even want to know what is going on over at A Chan. I know for a fact there's been a Same. couple of people. There's, there's oh, my God. A Chan. Oh, my. I saw a documentary. is 4 Chan on steroids. I'm good, dude. Oh I don't. Mm -mm. Dude, mm -mm. I saw a documentary about the guy that created. 8chan and and 4chan yeah that and man that little he's wanted by the feds because of that that's why his ass is sitting in indonesia right here's now the, here's the, here's the funny thing it's like what you were saying when it comes to the follower count there are going to be people on there from eight like 4chan 8chan it is the baby of the product of those two things absolutely 100 yes. yes. but it's also going to be how many can I get? What is my number going to be? You know, mm -hmm. how big and famous am I going to be because of the baby in which I'm processing all this information out that is public? And, you know, it's like I talk, it's like I talk to people about it. You know what I mean? The only time I cared about my following was the fact that, you know, I was coming up on 10 years clean and I was like 36 yeah. people away from having 10,000 followers. Yeah. And I was like, that's that something, would be to something if I got 10 years clean with 10,000 followers at the that's, same time. Yes, that's but I was, I was, I was excited about it. But at the same time, I could still give two shit about the fact that I have the amount of followers that I have because there's more now to what it was then. And I'm still, I could give two shits about it because I'm not here for you to follow me. Exactly. I'm here because I'm trying to process an info, uh, I'm trying to process a message and put it out there for people who are not getting it from mm. maybe somebody who is saying the message. Yes. This is why I duet my stuff. This is why I'm like, hey, I'm not here to speak. You're going to see me on a live at 12:30 at night. That's me, but I create a safe space for you to come into. Other than that, the content you see is just going to be either my face or blank screen with like finger pointing and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. all I want you to do is hear what the person I'm duetting is saying because their message yep. is strong and it is beautiful. And that's what needs to be happening. When Twitter gets bought by Elon Musk and then the 8chan and 4chan people migrate over to that, it's mm -hmm. going to be the most chaotic, hectic, yep. and havoc situation you will ever see on social media fuck what facebook has done anymore facebook oh, will no longer be existing no man, pretty much and the other half the other aspect of it is do you know who gets harmed when a guy like elon musk buys a social media platform the least of us people in mark like yes just like you joker just like People in marginalized groups. All of us. Yes, people in marginalized groups, people in marginalized communities. We 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 already have a a a suicide rate amongst trans people that is out of fucking control. We have kids going home being they've been bullied in school and they go home, they're 11, 12, 10 years old committing suicide. Can you fucking imagine if these kids also are on Twitter and they have to fucking listen to this shit? This lawless ass listen. place. Oh my god! It's not even, the, it's not the even posts that they would get on Twitter. Read. Exactly. It's literally just the words that they're going to see. Yes. It's not even. Yes. yes. You can you can do audio and stuff like that. Absolutely. You can see videos. Mm -hmm. They're going to see this stuff, but it's not even just those aspects. It's the simplest of the aspect of they're going to see the fucking words yes. that these people are putting on the on yes. this thing that are literally going to just and. And the thing is, what's so crazy so is that it, it, it'll be, it'll be just the one tweet. Yep. That's all. The that's one tweet. going to cause 15 people, 15 yeah. children to that are going to commit suicide, suicide from yes. reading that. And the thing is, this is the, these are the part, these are the parts that people don't understand. Like I get why, I get why TikTok does what it does sometimes. What I don't get is how you can get, you can have a person put up a video. Perfect example, when that stupid ass Tom McDonald song came out with the crazy white boy, whatever the fuck that is, there was a, a dude with a fucking Nazi swastika on his chest. Now, imagine being a Jewish person who has heard the stories about the Holocaust, have had members of their family that have died because of the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. And here you are on a social media application and you're scrolling and all of a sudden you see that shit. And then when 10, 12, 15, 20, 25 people report the video. Well, we didn't really find any violations. That is that when you allow lawlessness, you get you you end up getting a body count. 
But you already get that with TikTok. It's just going yes. to it's going to be severely worse with Twitter. Yes. You already get that with TikTok because you know that TikTok works with the conservative. Yeah, think works about with it. The yeah, right absolutely. We, because we, every time that any of us, any of us, and I don't report videos, but anytime somebody is reported mm-hmm. for misinformation or for literally throwing a ter- terroristic threat yep. to the government or anything else like that, and somebody reports mm-hmm. this for, mi- for 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 these specific things, it is literally not a violation to so, to TikTok. Exactly. Twitter's going to so, be even worse. Yes, Twitter's so going to be even worse. That, but here's the thing: you that, look at somebody like me who's a leftist mm-hmm. and who, you know, goes, "Hey, by the way, this is not going to be okay. This is not this is not acceptable." No. Blah 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 <laughs> blah. I get reported real quick. Yeah. Pardon me. Yes. Pardon me. What is it with the full-on phallic symbols that you can literally read through the clothes that are covering it? Mm-hmm. said monster phallic symbol or the uh the guy uh simulating uh fellatio and spitting and da, da, da. on a on a on an ear of corn no so. no this is the new one that's going around tiktok right now but but you know they they are hinging right on the fine line of things they're on tiktok but they are. Mm-hmm. Because there's still people doing crackdowns. There are still people who are doing their damnedest to try to stop this shit. But exactly. when you give when you give the power of an entire social media platform, like 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 Mark Zuckerberg owns Facebook, he owns Instagram, he owns WhatsApp. Okay, um, so. He has all of this power over this shit. <clears throat> Anything he wants on there gets on there. Now, I have had my damn whole fucking Facebook account frozen, completely frozen for a week or a month based off some shit I said in 2013. But mm-hmm. then you will see people, you know, the, the one with the woman washing the, the monkey and then it was a white guy holding on to a black dude or whatever. That shit was on Facebook. So Zuckerberg doesn't seem to have a problem with that because to them, it's all about the algorithm. TikTok is the same way. They don't give a shit about anything else but the fucking algorithm. So if this fucking Nazi symbol having motherfucker singing his stupid ass song gets views, of course, they're not going to see any fucking violation. I'm surprised. I still routinely get some of my videos banned. That's why I started uploading the motherfuckers to Instagram in the first place. But the shit that gets banned, there's nothing sexual about it. I might be cussing somebody the fuck out, but it's words. But I also know that there is worse shit just on an application like TikTok. When you give that that level of fucking power to somebody who literally thinks a guy who is the at the heart of an insurrection should still have a platform you are going to get hell. You're not not just regular hell. It, you're going to get a level of bullshit that is it, it is is going to boggle your mind. And th- we're talking about an application that already has shit on it. Already yeah. has it on there. Take taking it taking it into perspective on not just TikTok. You know, you've got the creator fund and everything else like that on TikTok and everything yes. else like that. Think yeah. about this. Elon Musk is Twitter. He's going to instill some kind of thing that's going to create some kind of platform that's going to make him money. Besides owning Twitter, he's going to, you know, to have creators be able to make like a creator fund and everything else like that. But watch him do the same analytics that fucking Twitter did. I mean, that that TikTok did. Because you remember last year, somebody was there was multiple people posting this video about the creator fund. Literally talking about if I put something in there about black power or Black Lives Matter yep. or something yep. dealing with yep. black the I black in that. general, they would not let me join the creator fund. But if nope. I was to put something in there like white supremacy or white power or mm-hmm. white this, they literally would automatically let me create a creator's fund. Yes. This does not make sense. Yeah, what's gonna happen? I remember seeing that, that video. Exactly. There's and there's exactly what's going to happen in Twitter. But for what hap- what's going to happen on Twitter is literally going to be completely and utterly almost the same, but opposite of the same thing. 
you're going to take 4chan, you're going to take 8chan, and you're going to create their little baby like you were calling it. Yep. This Twitter that we're going to have is no longer going to be a safe space for anybody who is not on the right, who is not conservative, who is not fascist, who is not homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, nothing. Yep. Nobody will be safe on this platform anymore. And what's going to happen is that they're going to find you. And they're literally... It's like almost like Facebook, how he is now allowed to give your public information yes. out to yeah. anybody. And that's all that Elon is going to do the same thing because it's that's how you profit him money. money. That's how you make. And money. the thing is, is that it's it's already starting to get to that point where it is toxic like that. I mean, uh, I mean, it's almost getting to the point of where if you're not a uh, uh, far right wing, then it's automatically you're going to get just anything you put. It's just going to get hate, 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 hate. And yep. then if if it stays there, because more than like what it'll end up having is that the the the, the tweet will get removed or or your account will get banned. Mm -hmm. Maybe we and that's that's the other part of it. We go ahead, Victoria. Yes. <laughs> Look. Uh, see, and then the damn ACD kicks in, I swear to God. Oh, my goodness. You and the damn AC over there fighting. No. <laughs> Where were we? Where we were, were talking, we? We were talking about Twitter and Elon Musk. Oh, yes. But listen, <laughs> I don't often read, okay, like uh, e-magazines or, you know, newspaper shit like that. You know what I'm saying. Yes. But I mean, like I do everything mm -hmm. on my phone. I usually, I, I don't read a lot of articles, but I did read one one time about the life cycle of social media. Now, we all okay. remember MySpace. Okay. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. MySpace died. Well, Facebook is in I the mean, process. Look here, Tom was my, my greatest friend. He was my, my first friend. I, I miss Tom. Coolest friend ever. I miss Tom. I miss Tom. Like, Tom you're talking awesome. about yeah, what's MySpace, that? MySpace, rest in peace, MySpace. Why would you use WhatsApp when you can use new, newer apps that are out? You know what I'm saying? Because WhatsApp is so whatever. Yes, yes. WhatsApp is so oh, 2012. Uh, Why yeah, would you it's use like, WhatsApp? Oh, do you do you use Kick? Uh, uh, bitch, it's 2022. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I still I, use WhatsApp because I had to. But for two and I, and a half I, weeks. we use we used I used WhatsApp in Korea and I used WhatsApp in Germany and only to find out that it was being, you know, hacked by the Russians. So we stopped using this shit. You know, um, I will say this much. Mm -hmm. though, and this this I mean more than anything. The most vulnerable are always the one that suffers. When the powerful become more powerful. And what do I mean by that? We, like I said, we were talking about this with Ali. Um, we, as a community, as a TikTok community, almost lost Chloe yesterday. You know, she had been through something. Now, she had an incident where she was out in public and she got a rude comment and that set her off. And she left for a little bit. That will become a reality but it won't be something that somebody says out in public what will happen is you get a 13 year old kid who's you know they like uh power rangers or whatever and they like sharing their days of playing with power rangers nothing wrong with power rangers yeah but you know assholes are going to be assholes they're going to bully that kid. Mm -hmm. It'll always be some faceless fucking person because that, for some reason, the only way some Americans feel like they can be American is if they bully some goddamn body else. You know, the reason they can't stand my ass is because I bully the bullies. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you know? I, I have a perfect one for you, okay? Mm -hmm. Um... These people will make these hate comments and these hate comments 
stay up there. So when you search this person, mm -hmm. you see all this plethora of comments yep. and every one of their cool. comments is just absolutely full of vitriol. But you say one goddamn thing back and you get a violation. You're the now, Let me check. Hold, hold, hold. So back around November, mm. there was a woman with this bright red hair and a nasal cannula, and she was homebound. And she was asking for family applications if anybody wanted to come be her family. And it was sad. And this woman named, uh, I don't know if I can say it or if I'll get a content violation, but this, anyway. The A woman, yeah. This woman said to her, you are just attention seeking, blah, blah, blah. Well, the problem was she had the word nurse in her part of her at name. Oops. Well, uh I said, <laughs> is this you? Because what we're not going to do is pick on the chronically ill, uh, the disabled. Mm. And then um, Miss Lady made a few more uh, videos, this, this woman. Mm -hmm. Somebody just reached out to me several days ago and said, you know, she died. The woman that was seeking the yep. family applicant. And then he told me they didn't even have a funeral for her. They just, her family just cremated her. And see that. that we but just wait, we but just wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. So the person who made that hideous comment to her in this beautiful video that I made to this woman, mm -hmm. I tagged her and I said at, I, I just wanted to let you know she died. I thought you'd really want to know. I hope the fuck you feel every bit of that. They won't though. And that's No, and just, that's we just had an humanity incident. Humanity has fucking fallen. Yeah, we 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 just had an incident shit not too long ago where a, a black woman with cancer was being fucking harassed by a big TikToker and I'm not going to say her fucking name because we ain't that cool no more, but you know, asking her all kinds of fucking pertinent ass questions. This woman is putting out videos asking for help, asking for GoFundMe's. If a person, and I'm going to say this, if I ever come on TikTok and I am putting in a GoFundMe for something, it's because it's something I desperately fucking need done. But if I can help, I will. If I can't, I won't. But at the same time, I'm not about to sit here and question why you need the fucking help. But that's the new bullying. That's the new bullying. You can't, it's, it's not enough to dislike a person's life like uh, Professor Mike does with plus size people. It's not enough to, to, to do any of that. Now you have to go after the most vulnerable at the most vulnerable time. So here's a woman. I, I, she's looking for help. She, she wants a family. And there's one person that just can't let that shit go. And the first thing they fucking do is, oh, well, you're just attention seeking. You're just da, 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 da. Why would you say that? What, what the fuck made your life so, you know, piss poor and fucked up that that's the way you feel like you have to approach a sick person. And I bring this back to Elon Musk because Again, this is the standard this man has set for the, the social media platform he would like to own. You can cause an insurrection, which five people died that day, and then three more cops committed suicide after. So there are eight people that have died in connection with this. And Elon Musk says... Well, we should let that guy have his place back because it was a it's a it's a First Amendment thing. So is a person being able to reach out to somebody on social media to ask them for help. That's a that's a First Amendment thing. And for somebody to bully them is bullshit, man. Go ahead. Just to clarify real quick on one th one thing that you were saying about what Elon Musk said. 
it mm -hmm. may have the circumstances may have changed recently okay. and when he first said he was going to buy twitter he said he was not going to give that man his platform back we all know that's a fucking lie of course we all know is. that's a shamble we know yeah, all that absolutely. he just wants to make a good name for himself and and try to get the people he knows that will spend money because they swing in different different directions than he does is exactly what he was trying to do. The circumstances may have changed to where he has changed that. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. We all knew as soon as the words Elon Musk is going to buy Twitter, we all went, Trump yep. is back. Yes. And I'm sorry. I <clears throat> I do believe that there are some limits to the to the First Amendment right to free speech. I do. If your speech harms people, you shouldn't say it. Now, again, bullies don't like me because I bully their ass back because I ain't got shit to lose. You're not going to call my boss. I don't have one. You're not fucking with my money because you can't. If you dox me, bring your ass to my house if you fucking want to. I'm going to give you some lead and some dog some dog teeth in your balls. I don't care. You going to feed the Caesar? It, yeah, yes. Some for yes. Caesar. I'm pretty sure Caesar would fucking actually jump inside of their ass it, you know, it, <laughs> especially if you coming over fucking with me, I'm the one that takes out the trash. Caesar ain't having that. No, you know, Caesar's Caesar gonna be like, for... nah, man, I fuck with him. Yeah, like, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, better hold on, back hold on. up off of you. Can't you, 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 you can't walk in here and think that you're gonna mess with my homeboy. That's mine. That's my partner. Mine. Fuck on with you. Ain't nobody but doing that. But that, bruh, 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 look, yeah, look, bruh, look, bruh, look, back, yeah. back, 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 cool. back, 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 and that'll be the see, end of it. See, Caesar's People. Joey Soprano. Yeah, exactly. Caesar ain't Caesar's not getting his hands dirty. Caesar only wants to fight me. He don't want to fight nobody else. He want to fight me and fuck me anyway. Hey, 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 use two and use two and use two. Yeah, you and, over and, there. And, and, use, <laughs> and, use, and use four over there. Yeah, and I can see him doing there. that. Hey, look, yeah, I, what I need you to do is I need you to go stand at that front door. Yeah. And see them people coming out that car? Go ahead like, and get the front door. And go over there up. and don't let that fucking, hey, hey, yo, come here. Hey, post come up, here. post hey, up. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Yo, go over there. Five. Go over there. Come over here. No, hey, squirrel five. Shit. Come here. Come here. Go over there and that Go the fuck over, over there. there. Come over here, this bitch. Yeah. I want you to take it. Don't you let him in the down, fucking down, house. Baby. What I say? Take you tell him you come. Bring down. it back. It's like a little Robert De Niro. Hey, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Look, 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 look. Talk like this. Like Billy Bats. Yeah, like he talks like Billy Bats. Look, look, look. Go get your fucking sign box. Come over here. I'm a fan of taking the kneecaps because I have a story about that. But, you know. I'm a fan of the kneecaps, but here's the thing. But that, that's what he's gonna time. have that's all of time. them. He's gonna have all of his little goonies uh -huh. right there in the front of the in, in the front in exactly. front door. But what he's gonna do is he's no he's gonna wait wait for you mm -hmm. to come to like the back window or like the back door or something like that, and he's gonna be sitting right there like arms crossed, looking at you, going, "Yeah, I did that." Yeah, fucking, I'm gonna get you, jo fucking Joe Pesci ass little motherfucking squirrel going. <laughs> You, you you fucking think you're not you, you think you're not gonna get the same thing? You, you, you think this is not gonna happen? Don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Hey, hey, you ain't gotta worry about them. Bring out the me. fucking. All I need you to do, all I fucking need you to do, is take out the fucking trash. You understand? Because if you don't take the fucking trash out, let me let me help you understand. Hey. <laughs> yes. Hey. Hey. See how quick he responds to me. Hey. Oh, I love it. I oh, feel would so you stop? Special. With, okay. Listen, <laughs> no, this is important. Hey, let's get back to the conversation. Okay. That we yes. Were this is yes. important. Mm -hmm. uh, TikTok widower says the YouTube feed is way behind TikTok. I don't know if that means anything to you. Um, it probably you is. Yeah, it's okay if, if it's behind. Okay, I'm good thank you for letting us know. Yes, tell her I said thank you, but yeah. it's being recorded. It'll be fucking uploaded. I go TikTok fix it. widower yeah. is Kurt. That's my boy, Kurt. But at the end of the day, and put in 74. I don't know if you know who that is, Thomas. It's one of my, I, I believe it's one of my mutuals. I don't know if we share this. Yes. I heard that before. Uh, but you are her TikTok crush. 
Let's get it on. We got about 10, okay. 11 minutes. Yes, we got well, I just want to have a good time from here on listen, out. Listen, we we put them out here pudding. I always think of robot chicken. All right. I, I got it. I got it. I got God it. damn it. Now I want to watch robot chicken because I gotta see bitch pudding. Yeah. Oh, she said she duetted you yesterday. Pudding 74. Okay, I, I will find Putin. Where to God, I need to watch. I'm gonna look I at to watch Robot Chicken because y'all gotta, gotta, y'all gotta I'm gonna watch Robot man. Chicken after. Oh yeah, after. we're friends. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all gonna make me. Come on, I'm not. I swear to God, I keep telling y'all I'm not. All right, but I'm a I mean, weirdo. But okay, good, I, mean, I mean, it's all good. good. I mean, we all know I'm the sexiest motherfucker here. You may be the sexiest per- person in this in this this live stream. <laughs> Squeeze me. Uh, I have a vagina. None of you do. F- and ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't, I don't have a, I don't, I, I, I don't think any one of us can argue I win. That. I don't care. How do you beat that? How do you? Ju- you don't. How do you beat I, that? You don't. I don't plan on trying to beat that. Don't, she don't feel the don't. way that she wants to feel. Like I don't care. Man, look, man. Because in my mind, I'm still going to sit there and go. Well, we I mean, I was only joking about time. being the, look, about the. I was only joking about like, being. We the have a discord here too. because honestly, I, I look at myself and go. <laughs> and it's like the most random so, shit. Like I shaved my right legs now, for the day I'm the other right night. Now. And I sent them a shot of. Hang on. No, thank <laughs> you. Telling my life what I did. You can put it on mute, woman. We want to hear that. I will say this much. Oh my God, they just our shut- little grouping of people. I don't know, man. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers is wild. <laughs> She's got that story about her showing us her fucking this, shaved leg because I talked are, about shaving we, my fucking yes, face. Yes, she man. did. She she did put her damn shaved leg up. I'm I'm serious. We are. I, I really honestly do believe our fucking my, our our mascot is Caesar. I'm serious. A I'm fucking still muscular, saying angry needs to create that muscular. goddamn logo. Yes, create create the logo. All angry right, on, man. Damn. I mean, it's it. I, it. Look, I can I, I can only draw, but so fast. I know, but I got you. Right, listen, hey, time number to one, chop, Caesar. Chop, Caesar's got to be muscular but me. short. Good. Think, Super think, kick party. Um, excuse me, right I have some more TikTok business. Yeah. Um, uh, Elizabeth DGAF says, "Tell Thomas to get the fuck over himself." Uh, yes, y'all please. gotta stop, yes. man. I'm not that. I don't oh, know y'all keep trying I to get fucking told you to get I'm over not, yourself. I, no, I, she says, "Tell Joker to get over himself, not you, Thomas." Oh yeah. But yes, you too. <laughs> He already tells me. Look, Damn. we gotta we uh, the the mascot. You gonna take that we, shit from sorry, the tail. Just him up. That's what I'm saying, head. dude. Think about this. Imagine, oh, he a, looks a, imagine a squirrel who's muscular but short, like Joe Pesci. Right. Um. He did, put him in a suit. Put him in a suit. And literally, you can you can make it a hey. you can have him doing this with his little squirrel hand. No, 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 no. Give him a fucking it. give give him a fucking Louisville, and have him like smacking it like the impression like he's fucking smacking a Louisville. I don't care like, as long mean. as look. I don't care as long as it says I don't care who you thought I was. My name's Caesar, bitch. I'm telling my name's if Caesar, that bitch. if that squirrel does not say my name Caesar, bitch, we are gonna Gilbert. I promise you, we're gonna have some fucking problems. Look at look at me. Bring, look, bring look, a PP version look, look, look. of fucking Caesar out and see what the fuck look, happens. Now I've been dealing with this motherfucker for a year and a half. Funniest <laughs> fucking thing. Let me tell you. Funniest fucking thing. We got off Mute the Media Friday night, right? And me yes. and Gambit did our live right after that. And I literally was like, all right, guys, we're we're headed out and everything else like that. And, you know, we still haven't created like what we're going to say at the end of our live and everything else like that. So I literally say. went. <laughs> no. So I literally went. I'm Caesar, bitch. And <laughs> you can hear you can hear Gambit go, no, no. And I already hit like the power button and was like ending the live. I was like, and then I hit him on the messenger and was like, yep, I ended it that way. And that's how the <laughs> fuck it went. Because I literally went, I like got in the like close to the camera and was like, I'm Caesar, say. bitch. Gambit, Gambit has he has swine. Um, Gilbert has robots. I got a damn squirrel. And if 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 we all gonna follow, we got we all gonna follow the lead. Caesar is us. It's a fucking villain, a piece of shit. The bastard won't leave. Like, now I gotta get me something because he's got. But I'm just saying, feet. literally, a fucking <laughs> a, a short, muscular squirrel with a pair of dress pants on, Fuck. beating on a Louisville slugger, 
And literally, it can say in a little round circle, I don't care who you thought I was. My name's Caesar, bitch. Like, seriously, that would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Dude, you <laughs> make stickers. Fuck it. And then you can put, like, I'll picture it. I'll picture like, it. I'll literally, picture you it, can right? have a I'll tattoo with a VG. I'm picturing a squirrel. I'm picturing a squirrel. But, but, yes. <laughs> but he's short. You know, make but sure you know he's short. I'll be- um, Making short and everything, you know, with uh, <laughs> with suspenders and a tie, rolled up sleeves. Yes, make sure he has like a tattoo of the, the VG logo tattooed on him. Or he got to have the tattoo on the forearm. Yeah, big ass, yeah. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Yes. TikTok widower says, I have never watched squirrel copulation myself, but Thomas has. Yeah, and I'm scarred. I... You, you, you Sounds ever, disturbing. You ever watch somebody do something and then you are gonna try to do the same yeah. thing later on with somebody else? And why you did can't, you? I can't. I can't compete with that. Y'all, look. <laughs> I cannot compete with fucking C- Caesar. You know what? We gonna end this show. We gonna fucking end it because it's now late. We got five still, minutes, motherfucker. Yeah, but I still gotta go wash my daughter. Anyway, um, <laughs> so we'll go around the horn, starting with. Gilbert, who is our guest, thank you for being here. Last words. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, shout out your shit. Shout out your shit. So, things I've been working on currently, you know, got all my projects and everything I'm working on, but uh, have my own company. As two dudes and a laptop. Check out the website two dudes and laptop dot com. Uh, so I have all gonna have all my my videos and everything my shop there and stuff when get all that stuff ready and so currently it's show i'm working on uh, my series i'm working on i call it infinite which is uh it's a whole sci-fi fantasy story which it has it, it's different multiple parts but it's, essentially it's a metaphor about me and my life and the people that have have influenced me throughout my life so that's what I got currently working on. I appreciate you having me on. And you VG, man. Thank Shut you. Up. Shut up. All right. Uh Victoria. <laughs> Why do you Final say words. with such disdain? That isn't disdain. Disdain is Vic. <sighs> but Victoria. Oh, the our, commentary our on the TikTok live has been hilarious oh, while man. I've been oh, muted. <laughs> <laughs> i love you guys people are leaving comments like i will never get in the guild now i want to come hang with y'all <laughs> um and this is what it is like all the time with us uh we're just a hodgepodge family i swear to god yes we we, we just call ourselves villain because nobody else like <laughs> us <laughs> uh, i don't have any projects i don't have nothing going on <laughs> You do have a project, and we're going to work on it. I promise you. Oh no, no! We got the GoFundMe coming. I'm the telling GoFundMe. you, we look, Victoria, every week, every week, and then you start giving us your escapades, and they uh, they turn out horribly. The more they turn out horribly, the more I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna have to be like Thanos. Fine, I'll do it myself. No, no, no. oh my god. <laughs> Joker, final words, brother. Uh, it was a pleasure having Allie on. Uh, yes. Again, if you don't follow her, uh, it's uh, Freak Squeak, one word on TikTok. She's an absolutely amazing creator, and she sticks up for the trans community and herself, and I'm absolutely grateful that she got to join us. Um, as always, I'll see you later tonight, uh, Angry, because you're usually in my lives with me. Um, if you, anybody who's on the TikTok that's listening from Victoria, uh, while Victoria's live, um, I do go live at 12.30 at night with Gambit. We do call it the late show with Joker and Gambit. It is a safe space for people. We literally don't want drama. We try to keep away from the drama. There's too much of it around going around TikTok. And if you just want to have a place to come in and crack jokes and laugh or just be stupid or be whoever you are, you know, it's a safe space. Come be a part of that environment if you're up that late. 12.30 a.m. and we usually go to 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then also... Guys, check out our merch store. Yes. Because this water bottle is fat. We're whores for money. 
Yes, no. we we yes we the the villains guild Some of us really are. Money. Don't don't act like we're not. Um, our Teespring is fuck. I gotta remember. Ghostclawproductions.com. Ghostclawproductions.com. Go so buy this the shit. Why we have Joker? Support us. Look good. The link is in my bio. The link is in Thomas's bio. And I'm pretty confident that the link is in Angry's bio as well. Yep. So, link is in my bio. So All right. Check um, it out. You know, you've got merch that is Thomas's, mine, Gambit's, Angry's, and Victoria's, and we got some other kick-ass shit like shh. Shut the fuck up. And <laughs> what would real Jesus do? So check us yeah. out. Yeah. All right. Um, final thoughts. Um, don't let anybody ever tell you that you cannot do and be whatever the fuck it is that you want to do and be. You are here for a very short amount of time, whether it's one minute or 100 years, you will not be remembered by being average. So why in the fuck would you wanna be? Be extraordinary in everything that you do. Be out and proud in whatever you do. Do not follow a trend, set them. Do not follow, lead. We have far too many followers in this world. The last thing in the world we need is another one. Cowards die a thousand deaths, soldiers die but once. But a trendsetter is a legend that will be remembered long after you are gone. And if nobody tells you they love you, I love you. I love you. I think that uh, woman. I kind of don't, but it is what it is. Would y'all shut up? You know what? Why you don't you? have hey. to love me. Hey, I you guys. Are like, right. I mean, look. Do I have to mute you three? Is that what I gotta do? If nobody tells you they love you, I love you. If nobody tells you that you're needed, I'm telling you you're needed. If nobody tells you that you are love, light, beauty, strength, I love you, grace, Joker. I love you. I am saying. I love you, Thomas. I love you. All right. For the Villains View, first time live streamed it. on YouTube. We will have everything straightened out by next week. There will be a lot less profanity, but there will be a lot more laughs. Um, they said they love me the most. And my, well, it's my goddamn it's your, life. What the fuck are you talking about? I doubt it because they did not see the menorah fucks. That, thank you. See? The menorah of fucks is, is, is fantastic. I want that so bad. Oh, one more thing. <clears throat> we are at the halfway point of the year, which means in six more months, the Jankies are coming. The Jankies. And just so everybody knows, the Jankie, it has been designed. I'm printing it out. So I'm just waiting on more resin to come in so I can finish it up. But and, and, the Jankie and is coming. For some of I'm you, always the one. Off my pop yes. figure comes first before the jank. But that's no. what I'm saying. For some, oh, hold on, Cooper Smith, uh, per, uh, uh, creations, the ones that made this, this, uh, my placard, they also have a janky. I want that to be the janky of the year, and I'm telling you right now, it's 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 a runaway, it's a runaway thing. White people doing white people oh. shit. Woo! Men with pod, men with podcasts, they're still behind, but they're trailing. So six months, we are in the final. Well, we're not even in the final stretch. We're in the so half. Are you asking people to send submissions? Oh, no. Yeah. Only members of the guild. No. The it's Jankies are only voted by the members of the guild. So if you consider yourself, if you have been told, if you use the Villains Guild fucking whatever, you are a member of the guild, which means you have a vote. I will be coming out with the categories. I will send it to you guys via DM or via Discord. Your 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 janky votes <laughs> are due a week before my birthday, which is December 31st. And the Jankies are a two-day event. Two-day event. So December 30th Lord, and the 31st, right before midnight, Central Standard Time, or it will probably be midnight Eastern, we will give out the janky of the year. And I'm telling you right now, the top two right now, as far as I know, are men with podcasts and white people. 
and it don't even look close because white people are running away with this shit. <laughs> so be prepared, be ready. I love you guys. Bye, we, will see you. we will see you all next week for the villain's view. This is Thomas, the villain bishop. Thank y'all and good night. <laughs>